Hi Mohini, congratulations on your great offer from Oracle being from a tier 3 college IEM Kolkata. It is a great achievement that you just got into Oracle which offers 20 LPA package. Mm-hmm. How would you explain the feeling after getting that offer? Thank you so much Surya. I'm really happy like this was my dream to get into a product based company and uh, I'm my family is really happy and I remember when I got the offer I couldn't believe it because it was seriously like a dream i was very skeptical about it whether i'll get it whether i not and when the final list came i was so happy i remember calling you yes. and telling you that oh, i'm finally selected and it yes. was really great great experience yeah. that is always a great feeling after getting your first offer the first offer has a totally different emotion and a totally different meaning as compared to any offer you get after that right Yes. So yes. Now, how did our DSA training program actually helped you in upskilling and actually getting this offer? So, Surya, I, I enrolled into the second batch which you started the DSA crash course, and I actually enrolled it in my third year only. I remember. So I was really very naive at at that time. I didn't have much knowledge. Very first thing that I liked about the course was that it was a live session. Like after getting into college, I really miss that touch of having interaction like a one to one interaction with a teacher so that was the very first thing that helped me in understanding dsa and get and actually it uh, helped me in inculcating that interest i got interested in dsa yeah. and uh, obviously the course content is extremely great like uh, st- attending one class gives you a overview of a particular data structure from very basic to advanced which was like very wholesome in itself so the second thing is the sheet that you gave us the 200 or 250 questions sheet that you gave us uh, which had questions from lead code and like uh, which covered all the topics of dsa and uh, and it was it was like very helpful because uh, the thing is ki when when we are beginner we have so much content on the web that it's that you get lost you're following one particular platform following one particular set of questions helps you a lot because you know yes. you have, and every topic every kind of question was covered in that sheet and i uh, completed that sheet before my placement which was like uh, really helpful for me the third thing is the doubt classes we had uh, regular doubt classes after once uh, and we had uh, continuous discussion after every class which helped us understanding various approaches of one particular problem and that gave me how the actual interviews work right the interviewer knows that you know this approach he can yeah. trap you in that question in that particular yeah. question and he can ask you like okay so you need to so what what if this happens so that thing is very difficult if you are just uh, thinking in one direction and uh, yeah. i think the course gave me that overview that how different uh, approaches are there for one particular question i trusted you completely with uh, like i followed whatever you said attending the classes regularly even if i missed any class due to some project or some college assignment i used to uh, like watch the recorded uh, video so that i don't miss that section the thing is uh, when you are uh, having someone as a mentor that really helps you that keeps you in one direction when you are studying alone you few times that i used to doubt myself that whether i am the right direction or not and similarly when i was in the course if i had any doubts i used to come to you and then you used to guide me like okay you no know, you are in the right direction you are solving this question correctly so that yeah. is really help me the yeah, guidance is like so important that even though uh, someone wants to put their effort if they are not putting it in the right direction then they might not achieve what they would have if they have someone to guide and uh, show him or her the actual direction which he should follow so giving direction is like it it is a huge uh, time saver because sooner or later you might realize that whatever you have been doing may not be the best one so you might have saved on your time and uh, you might if you had done something else and uh, you might have had that offer like back back in your time when you when you could have uh, done something in a more optimized way right so all these things are club together and definitely we guarantee that uh, whenever you are preparing for your interview you will be able to do that in the minimum time possible 
so that is one guarantee we provide and and the main thing about this course is like uh, you are actually able to see what all things you need to do and and um, also mark out all the things you don't need to study because there are a lot of algorithms on internet everywhere it will be flooded fancy algorithm names which you might be tempted to study and and uh, at the end you will just end up wasting your time because those questions are extremely rare with less than 1% hit rate in any interviews and uh, that's why we do not need to do it <laughs> right so we also focus on only those things which are actually going to come uh, we also focus on the things like patterns of problems and uh, how to how to actually extract seeing a problem to which data structure and algorithm you would want to map it to right so wow. all these things club together and uh, guidance and uh, live sessions everything club together it is like a complete package right uh, now our viewers would like to know about your preparation strategy how did you prepare throughout when you had actually planned for getting placed in a product based company when i joined my college from that time only i wanted to get placed in a product based company although i was from a tier 3 college so like uh, my first and second year were mostly devoted to development and for making projects so like when the third year came and i actually started giving online assessments for internships for the summer placement internship i realized one thing that i had a really poor data structure skills <laughs> so from that time onwards i started working on it i started uh, uh, doing uh, problems on um, hacker rank on geeks for geeks and on lead code so like this was my whole uh, preparation i used to actually skip uh, platforms which was a very big mistake for me like i used to, i should have followed one particular platform mostly i i have solved roughly around 100 uh, lead code questions but i was not confident like uh, if some uh, a new question come up whether i'll be able to solve it or not because the questions that i solved were mostly very common questions so i was not sure that whether i'll be able to crack it or not while preparing uh, when i used to solve uh, lead code questions and i used to search them i used to get your videos right so like every time i search some question i used to get your videos on the top and i loved the way you taught those questions so uh, like uh, the whole approach and everything uh, i didn't enroll for any course because i was not sure that whether it will help me or not but when you uh, like released a video that like, uh, you'll be doing a crash course i thought that it it will be the most appropriate for me i even like i th- uh, before enrolling in the course I, i remember talking to you and sharing like this is my status right now i can solve questions but i'm not sure that whether i'll be able to crack or not and i remember you telling that okay so this will be this help this will help you in building your skills um a bit mm-hmm. better so i enrolled in the course and i think that was like uh, one life changing decision for me <laughs> so like after joining your course uh, i used to solve uh, at least one to two questions every day and maximum i used to solve three questions not more than that but i maintained the uh, consistency for around the whole uh, tenure of the course like for the 60 uh, 60 or 65 days and within that period i think i solved around uh, more than 200 questions and that covered the commonly asked questions and then also most of the data structures i think that what helped me like even before the interviews i didn't practice much but because i had that consistency i had that the uh, thing that i used to solve questions uh, that helped me in my interviews thanks for sharing your preparation strategy now what will be your success mantra that is what advice would you like to give to any candidate who is aspiring to clear a product based company so the first thing is like uh, please follow one platform whether it's lead code or whether it's whether it's geeks for geeks or whether it's interview bit kindly follow one platform and follow one particular mentor on youtube don't try to switch between people because everyone has a different approach of problem solving and when you're following one particular person you'll have you'll actually inculcate that approach in yourself and that will be reflecting that will reflect in your interview like when you are presenting yourself in front of the interviewer so that is something i recommend and the second thing is like be consistent 
that everyone says it be consistent that is very helpful the thing is that even um, i i had my bad days when i don't feel like solving questions it i i was preoccupied with some internship work or with some college work but i i used to solve at least one easy level the lead code question so that mm-hmm. i have that consistency if i solve one i used to solve next day four questions if i couldn't solve can you please share your interview experience and what topics did you find are more important as compared to the others so i had three rounds of interview for oracle and each interview was taken by a senior uh, uh, senior software engineer so the first round was basically about uh, object oriented programming and data structures and algorithm the interview actually lasted for around 1 hour and in that one hour the interviewer asked me mo- most of the theoretical questions about object oriented programming and uh, i was given three uh, lead code medium level uh, uh, questions which were from linked list arrays and trees and the second round of interview was mostly about uh, core subjects and logical reasoning and uh, aptitude um, it was uh, not a very difficult round uh, re- as it was not related to uh, dsa but uh, uh, the questions were um, uh, like from each core subject of uh, computer science for example yeah, uh, cs computer fundamentals work, computer yeah. uh, cs fundamentals and uh, each question was asked and this round also lasted for around 45 to 50 minutes and uh, the third round was uh, a bit of a combination of hr plus i would say a technical round um this also didn't ha- this had one dsa question which was uh, on linked list it was uh, also a, a easy to medium level question and uh, the and the interviewer also asked me questions regarding my cv uh, like my resume what what the skills that i have mentioned why i have mentioned and yeah. also uh, and also related to java because it uh, oracle mostly fo- focuses on java um it had uh, questions related to the core concepts of java like inheritance or uh, like how how java is particularly different from other languages thank you for sharing your interview experience with oracle i think it will help a lot of uh, students here who are actually watching it it is a proud moment for me and also for our entire tech dos team Uh, that you are placed in in such a big company and uh, i wish you all the best for your future thank you so much sorya like i'll always yeah. be indebted to you for this yeah thank you see you again